Hi, it's Steph here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll talk about what it's like to be a pharmacist in Toronto versus being a pharmacist in Vancouver. I moved from Vancouver to Toronto in 2020 during the first wave of the COVID pandemic. And I often get asked by my colleagues and friends what the difference is between the two cities. So I'll highlight some of the things I love about Toronto uh, versus the things that I like about Vancouver. But in terms of which city is better, you can be the judge of that yourself by the end of this video. So one, I want to talk about the job opportunities as a pharmacist in Toronto versus Vancouver. There are more than 300 hospitals in Ontario versus only around 150 in BC. So just based on these numbers alone, there are obviously more job opportunities for a pharmacist to practice in the hospital setting in Ontario versus British Columbia. If you're looking at just the number of hospitals within cities like Toronto versus Vancouver, uh, the two largest cities in both of these provinces, then you're also looking at three times the number of hospitals in Toronto, uh, which has around 30 hospitals versus Vancouver, which only has around 10. Because there is a greater demand for pharmacists here in Ontario, it's also easier to get into the hospital setting compared to Vancouver. In Vancouver, because there are not as many hospitals and subsequently not as many hospital pharmacist positions for us to apply for, they can be more stringent when they're selecting applicants. Most hospital pharmacist positions that are available in Vancouver require applicants to have a one-year hospital residency training under their belt. Whereas in Ontario, because there are much more demand versus the supply of pharmacists, they'll often take pharmacists even without their one year residency training. In terms of the work culture, I find them very similar in between the two cities. The only difference is that most hospital pharmacists in Vancouver are unionized, whereas in Ontario, it depends on the hospital that you're working for. So not all hospital pharmacists belong to a union. I know there's a whole debate on whether it's good to be unionized versus not, but as a unionized worker back home in Vancouver, I actually prefer to be a part of this. And the reason being is that there are often a lot of funding opportunities that the union offers to fund your research projects, international or national travels to conferences, as well as continuing educational programs. And the union will also help negotiate wage increases and adjustments on your behalf. In terms of pay, I find that hospital pharmacists in BC do earn more. And I wonder if this is because there's just lower number of positions available in BC compared to Ontario. So in terms of the price difference, uh, you're looking at around a three to seven dollar difference per hour, uh, depending on your prior work experience. In terms of lifestyle, I would say if you're a city person, you would love Toronto more. It's a bigger city so that there's more things to do. There are much more art and culture entertainment events that happen in Toronto, such as TIFF, that does not occur in Vancouver. For example, this is Nuit Blanche Toronto, an all-night art event that happens once a year which showcases contemporary art by Canadian artists. And the one thing I love most about Toronto is their wide variety of multi-ethnic food selection. So if you're someone that loves to learn about a culture based on their food, then Toronto is definitely the right place for you. Because Toronto draws so many people from all over the world to the city, there is also much more opportunities for you to network here. I find that people here are more open to making friends, they're more inclusive and more friendly. In Toronto, you're also much closer to travel destinations like Europe. So the world of travel is essentially your oyster here. But not to leave Vancouver completely out. If you're a person that prefers to be around nature more than the city, then Vancouver is definitely the place for you. You're literally steps away from local beaches and forest trails. And within a two hour drive from the city's downtown core, you'll get to one of North America's largest ski resort. The Whistler Blackcomb Ski Resort is a skier and snowboarders paradise during the winter. But in the summer, they also offer a lot of summer activities, such as the opportunity to drive an ATV around their trails, zip lining, and mountain biking. So you can probably tell that my preference is for Toronto. I love it here and I've been here for the past two years. Let me know in the comments below if you have any further questions or if you just want to say hi or share your experience if you're also a pharmacist that has relocated into one of these different cities. Till next time, bye for now.